the developer behind one of Android's most popular root solution, Magisk, is joining Google. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And yesterday we had some exciting news. John Wu, and those of you who don't know who John Wu is, he is the one man army behind Magisk. Magisk is one of the most popular routing solutions out there for Android devices right now. And this dude is joining Google. Now, it is very good for him that he is joining Google. And of course, congratulations to him. And I would like to thank him a lot for his hard work on Magisk. It is a good career move. But how does that affect the routing community? Well, in my humble opinion, this is something which is very, you know, a fluid situation is what I would call it right now. And why do I call it fluid? Well, for starters, he's joining the Android platform security team. So root might not be a part of Android security. Let's just say that. I mean, even though rooting your device opens up a whole another can of worms, but do note the Pixel devices do allow you to bootloader unlock, which means most of the people are using it to root their device. So in that respect, you can say that Google does not, you know, have anything against routing, but, but, but bypassing safety net is a security issue, whether you agree or not. Bypassing safety net once you've rooted your device is a security issue. And that is where it becomes a fluid situation because when I saw this tweet yesterday, I of course sent out a tweet and congratulated him and said that, you know, finding exploits for routing would be more easier now. And that of course was meant in a funny way. And when, when John Wu tweeted yesterday, there was another tweet right below this one that he had the flexibility or the permission or existing projects won't be affected, which of course he knows we know existing projects means magisk but when i woke up today morning i was going through the forums reading the articles because there was a lot of rumor about or sorry a lot of talk about magisk being dead so i went to his profile and i couldn't find that tweet that tweet has since been deleted which got me thinking right i'm like yes this is a typical or the a very good example of conflict of interest on one end you are messing with Android security. As I mentioned earlier, you can say that routing might not be related to security even though it is, but bypassing safety net is messing with security. So on one hand, you are working for Google in the security team, specifically for Android. On the other hand, you are bypassing safety net. That, my dear friends, is conflict of interest. Which brings us, what about Magisk now? Again, this is all my opinion and my thought process. So you can comprehend them as you want to. But in my humble opinion, I think he will have to stop developing Magisk or working on Magisk. Or it might be something like, you know, only root would be provided by Magisk and safety net bypass part would be dropped. Who knows? That is why I said it is a very fluid situation right now because what is setting the cat amongst the pigeons is the fact that the tweet wherein he mentions that he'll be allowed to work on existing projects has since been deleted. He might come out with another statement, but as of now, at the time of recording that video, that tweet stands deleted. What does this mean for the routing world? Let us assume the worst case scenario that Magisk has to, he has to stop supporting Magisk because of conflict of interest. Well, again, from experience, when Chainfire, the developer behind SuperSU, he sold it off to some Chinese company, that is when John Wu came into the picture. That is when Magisk became super popular. Before that, it was all of those one-click routing solutions like King Root and SuperSU was also there. SuperSU, of course, wasn't like one-click solutions, but Magisk is open source and 
I'm pretty sure someone else will pick it up or John being John he might help somebody else transfer the knowledge because that is what we can hope for right now and if he decides not to then we do have a lot of talented people working and somebody else will pick up the leftovers of magisk and you know what i'm trying to say here is that root would be here to stay as long as you can unlock the bootloader drm widevine l1 safety net those things might become a thing of the past but rooting should be here to stay with or without john Wu. and of course you know he's doing the right thing he's making the right career moves who wouldn't want to work for google heck i would like to work for google why not so he's making the right career moves he's securing his future nothing against him that is how the world works so those were my thoughts and opinions on the topic feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below <laughs>